Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Work at a Change. Today, we're going to be talking about women with hairy legs. I'm not going to waste your time, baby. Don't wait. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Y'all know what to do. The, the appeal, so that's what I continue. Okay, since I get the same questions every day about my body hair, I'm going to answer some of them. The first one is, how do I wash it? Literally, just like how anyone would wash their body. Most men have armpit hair and hair everywhere else, so if you've ever seen a man take a shower, just like that. I just like get in there with my fingernails and soap and just like scrub it. Uh, do I shower is another question. Yep, I shower. Obviously. Another question I get is how do I wear a bikini? And I don't really have any better answer for this other than that I, I just wear a bikini. A lot of people also ask what does my boyfriend think? And what did he think when I stopped shaving? He doesn't care. He's totally cool with it. I hate when people ask those kind of dumb questions. Well, what did your boyfriend think? If he was disgusted, he would have left. There would be no boyfriend, right? Now, the answer she gives is also an answer I don't like. He's like the sweetest guy on earth, and he doesn't- See that? He's like the sweetest guy on earth, and he doesn't judge no matter what. Listen, men, before we continue, let me, let me, let me have a quick conversation with you. It's okay to tell your wife. Well, that's the heart. Sorry, I'm so. <laughs> this is the difference to me. Like, if you got a girlfriend, you got to break up. Like, if you disagree, it's over. Relationship's done. If you're married, you kind of have to have the discussion. At least, if your wife starts doing that, you'd be like, "Baby, look, uh, that wasn't part of the plans." Okay, when we got together, your legs were shaved. But when you're in a relationship with the girl and she's your girlfriend, you don't really know what it's like to be in a long term. Maybe. Maybe I don't know this, these two people, but you kind of feel like you may be stuck. You might not get a girl like this again, right? It's, it's totally true, right? I don't know what she does for him. You know, she may do wonderful stuff. She just don't shave. So he may be stuck. He may be like, oh, it's what it is. I don't know. Or maybe he really doesn't care. <clears throat> but I don't like the whole he doesn't judge no matter what. Y guys, y'all need to be in a relationship with people who say something, okay? If I Listen, when I, listen, guys, I was losing a lot of weight. And then I kind of slipped off the boat a little bit. My wife is saying, hey, baby, you need to get that gym, okay? You need to slow down, okay? You, you, you're eating a little too much. I need somebody like that. And when she's doing the same thing, I say something. Or there's something I don't like, I say something, right? If I dress a certain way, you think my wife's going to say something? She will. If I dress like a bum, she's going to say something. I need that. So it doesn't always have to be this, oh, I just support everything she does. Nope. <laughs> Nuh uh can't do that right because at some point i don't i just don't think there's nothing wrong with being like hey babe i don't actually like that if you're gonna not shave your legs hey you know you know if i gotta do all this other stuff you don't i mean maybe they had a discussion before it happened so that's fine but for me i you don't have to just support it to be a great the sweetest boyfriend you'd be like oh no i'm good and she should now that's my question is if he had said no baby i want you to shave your legs would she say he was a a butt cheek boyfriend? Would she say he was a he was a butthole? Would she say that he was mean? Or would she say I understood? I I don't know. Doesn't judge me no matter what. He is extremely, extremely supportive. He's extremely supportive. He, when you hear that keyword, look at the nose ring. Oh no, it's gotta go. We gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, no, some of y'all hate that. They're like, oh, I can be perfect. I can be great with the nose ring. Yes, you can, baby. You wanna wear your nose ring, you wear it, baby. Not me though. Not me. Some of y'all wouldn't get with fat guys. So I can't have, I, maybe I don't want a woman with a nose ring. Can I have my preferences, baby? All right. I'm just playing around, guys. Uh, nonetheless, I just love that he's extremely supportive. See, when I hear those kind of operative words, hey, dude, you might need to leave her because it's about to get worse. She going to start like this. She going to start with one nose ring, start shaving her legs. Next thing you know, she going to be bald. She going to shave all this hair off, have half of it. Maybe have this half cut off. This half is pink. And then she's going to start getting uh, tattoos on her chest. And then she's going to have tattoos on her back. You might need to run. And my success is his success too. Let's what success are you doing? That, it's not successful to have hairy legs. All right, let's keep going. Hey, what else do people ask me? Oh yeah, do I shave my face? I do pluck my unibrow. And once in a while, I'll shave like up here, but really not often. This is a filter. <laughs> And like once every few months. I also have a lot of hair like on the side of my face here and I just leave that. You don't really notice it unless I put my hair up and I don't really care if you haven't noticed. People ask a lot if anyone... 
boy, she got them. She's uh, she got to be of uh, and listen, I'm not trying to be that guy, but she got to be of. It looks like she's probably of Indian descent because oh, I've only seen these this kind of hairy legs on Indian, you know, Indian women and Indian men. So, I mean, she had more hair on her legs than mine, but she's also lighter than me, so my hair would probably look worse if I was light skinned. So I could be wrong. Notices like when I travel, but I mean, those look. And honestly, what nobody has said anything towards me, like negative. And here's the thing. You know what? Let me shut up, guys. I'm not even letting the video play. Just leave that. You don't really notice it unless I put my hair up, and I don't really care if you haven't noticed. People ask a lot if anyone notices, like when I travel. And honestly, nobody has said anything towards me, like negative. And if people notice, they just look, and that's it. Sometimes I see them looking, and it's whatever. No. What do you want them to say? I don't understand when people say that. Oh, when I walk around, nobody says anything because they don't care about you. I'm sorry. I, I might have to go ahead and throw this out there for you people out here. But uh, and I'm sure most of y'all know this, but some of these people on social media, they must not get it. Most people don't care about you. Right. The vast majority of people don't care about you. And I'm not exaggerating. You got to think if you're walking around in a city of 30,000 people, how many of 30,000 of those people do you think care? Let's say you walk past 200 people that day. How many of those 200 people think you think care about you? Maybe one, maybe one will say something to your legs. More than likely not. Most people walk by and be like, oh, she got hairy legs. And they move on about their day. They're like, I got to go pay the bills. I got to go get my sandwich. I got to pick up my kids. Dang, my car still broke down. I got to go pick that up from the shop. How am I going to do this? Most people are thinking, man, she got hairy legs. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my day thinking about her having hairy legs. No, they can be like, they may go home and say, oh, I saw this woman with hairy legs, but you're not going to know that. You're not a part of that conversation. So, of course, people aren't going to walk up to you because they don't care that much. They may not like it. They may be kind of revolted by it. They may be like, oh, that's weird. But, I mean, most people aren't going to walk up to people and be like, oh, my God, you have hairy legs. You're sick. Disgusting. I'm like, who would do that? We have common courtesy around here. Only social media people are going to pull out their phone and be weird. Right. But the vast majority of us are going to go on about our day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, nobody's going to say anything negative to you because there's no point. It would it. What good would it do for somebody to walk up to you and say something about your legs? What just to get slapped or put on TikTok? No, it ain't even worth it. It, it, it makes no sense. That would just be rude. If you want to have hairy legs, and plus, most of the time people don't know why you have hairy legs. They don't know you're trying to make a fashion statement. They don't know. If I saw a woman with hairy legs, they'd be like, uh, maybe she can't shave. Maybe something else happened. I mean, I'm not thinking to myself, oh, she's trying to be a TikTok inf influencer. You know, I, I just don't think that to myself. And that's why I thought she, it was weird when she said her boyfriend was supportive. I'm like, supportive of what? But anyway. No one has said anything negative to me. Itty Bitty Cherry is a content creator who loves sharing her natural body hair. But she hasn't shaved in around 10 months. Okay, so kind of. But it also holds fragrances. So you know when you wash your hair and like two days later someone's like, oh, your hair smells so good. And you're like, what does it smell like? And they're like, shampoo. So your body hair does the same. The smell is going to last longer than it would if my armpits were shaved. And that goes for my other body hair too. My hair is curly, so I use like a curl. I'm sorry, dog. I, <laughs> I gotta be honest. I couldn't do it. This would be something about rubbing my wife's legs and filling her hair. I mean, if there was no other choice, I'd live with it. But if it's just a, a choice that she's making, I mean, I can't do it. Cream and scrunch it in. And whatever's left over on my hands, I just rub together and I scrunch my bush as well. I also wash it with shampoo and conditioner just so it stays soft and it's not like coarse. Having body oh hair God. is still Me. hygienic. It's there for a reason to protect she her. Got some thick calves, so that makes it ma not if trying to offend her, but her calves look more manly because her calves are so thick. She might play sports or she might do some working out because her calves are so thick and hairy. It looks more manly to me. It's just like our eyebrows and our eyelashes protect our eyes. Our hair everywhere else is meant to be there and it's actually healthy to have it. So while your moisturizer may sweat off of you if you shave down there, scrunching in my curl cream and a little spritz of my perfume actually makes it smell really nice. Just saying. To whom? She often gets asked a lot of questions about her body hair but she's happy to answer them and help break the stigma around women's hair. Anytime you remove hair- I'm not the only woman who does that, by the way. There's other countries who don't shave. There's always pain involved. Whether you cut yourself with a razor accidentally, waxing, need I say more, and laser hair removal where it's just a bunch of pricks on your body. Despite the saying, beauty does not have to be pain. Beauty is- Uh, hold on. 
and you know it's being comfortable confident happy and for me it's feeling natural it's so your is that your natural look this is no makeup this is natural is having earrings and a nose piercing is that natural what do you could see this is where i start having questions what do you consider natural? Do you put you say you put shampoo in your hair? Is shampoo natural though? Are you talking about store bought shampoo with chemicals and stuff in it? Do that does the makeup you put on have chemicals in it? The deodorant you talked about, does it have chemicals in it? What do you consider natural? If your hair naturally looks like that, or are you putting product in there to make it look like that? Right? Is that your natural hair color? This, that, or that might be the sunlight. But nonetheless, it's just like what is natural? You consider the body hair natural, but is everything else about you natural? Is this your natural lips? Are your teeth naturally that shiny? Or do you use chemical toothbrush? I'm not saying, hey, baby, I'm not saying it'll be hygienic. All I'm saying is, uh, what is natural? I'm just confused about what is considered natural. It's like I love when people say stuff is natural when it's like going against the grain like having body hair but they won't mention makeup they won't mention eyeliner they won't mention eyelashes they won't mention the hair products they won't mention the deodorant they put on she might not i mean what is what are you considering natural at this point right yeah and for me it's and i know women who don't use any of this stuff right there's women who use lemon for deodorant there's people who i know a guy i'm sure y'all heard of him this guy named sir cruz he uses a lot of natural stuff He's put strawberries in his hair. He doesn't put on deodorant, or at least that's what he says. He uses lemon for deodorant. He uses a lot of fruit in his hair. He don't really use a lot of chemicals. I'm considering him more natural, but I'm just saying. Feeling natural. Itty Bitty Cherry says the small action has- Yeah, women, can y'all tell me if there's any women in the chat? Is she wearing makeup? Because that looks like makeup to me. I mean, like looking at the no skin blemishes, nothing. I think this is definitely- not natural what about those nails you got on nail paint i don't i thought i didn't know having your nails painted was natural don't you have to put chemicals in <laughs> completely changed her life and we love how open she is about her new lifestyle thanks so much for sharing it with us all right so my, my thing about this is do what you want i dated a girl who didn't shave her legs main character syndrome y'all know i like to use that in my titles um I, I, mar I, I married, I had a girl, I, my, actually my ex, um, about five years ago, she did not shave her legs. Um, was I cool with it? Here the thing is, I met her that way, right? She already didn't shave her legs when I met her. It wasn't a huge big deal, right? It wasn't a big deal because I already knew that about her, right? She was already kind of a tomboy, so I was like, oh, okay, it is what it is. But she was a great person. Kind of, kind of, you know, kind of slippish, but she was already a great person. Just had, you know, her problems like everybody does. Um, but can I do it today? If my wife was to start growing out her body hair now, would I be okay with it? No. Um, because there's certain things that we do that she likes that I do, and there's things that I like that she does, and so I think that it does matter um, how we treat our spouses. I mean, like I said, I I gotta wash my booty every day. I would hate it. She stopped watching her booty. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody like, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things that we do for our spouses that, you know, maybe we not necessarily like to do, but we do it because we, then we know they care about it. Right. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I think you should take it to the account of the other person. You shouldn't change. You shouldn't get married and then completely flip the script. I shouldn't go from dressing nice to as soon as we get together, I look like a bum every second she gets, you know, I shouldn't go from working out and all this stuff and just get as fat as a boat. You know, so when I start seeing myself slipping into my old habits of putting on more weight, I got to slow down, baby. I got to start making change. You know what I mean? Because that matters to me. Um, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Would you date a girl with this legs like this? Good luck. Peace.